How can I neglect it? Oh 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 oh! Hey guys, it's Corrales, and welcome everybody to Transport Fever. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do enjoy it, make sure you smack that like button, leave some nice feedback in the comment section, and subscribe if you haven't. A few episodes ago, we added those Union Pacific trains, and I forgot to check them out. Look how amazing this looks. Like the train or locomotive itself is. We've seen similar ones, but the livery is just breathtaking amazing. But look at those state cars here in the back with the construction materials. That is... That is incredible. Like... It's such a nice little difference. Hey, what's going on here? And this one here, instead of that having... The stones stacked up like this instead. It's just so awesome. Like, having the option to get on the Steam Workshop and download stuff like this just makes the game super fresh. So it's so cool to see and checking it out. By the way, how old are you? You're just 20 years. Are you still making money? Yes, indeed you are. You're making tons of cash on the passengers. But we are going to be replacing some of those trains I'm about today in today's episode. But um, I just want to start off on those Union Pacific trains because... That looks so snazzy and cool. The thing is, I think, what do we need? Oh, this is amazing. I know I say amazing a lot. But this means that both the... Since we upgraded, like we downloaded the new state cars which also carry stones, not only construction materials. So now we have stone going all the way to there in every single wagon possible. That's why they're making so much cash because the, the state cars take the stone as well. But I do think that we maybe should add one more train on this line. Like we're making so much cash because of the long trains, I guess. I don't know what happened, but I'm making tons of cash. Since the new region is up and running, it's just insane. So let's add a new train. I'm gonna go with the Kiwi. It's diesel, because we don't ever have any power lines here. We can get power lines and get like tons of electric trains, which I've got, but... Uh, ooh, uh, let's just use the Kiwi. It was, it was some time ago we used the Kiwi. And can we make it a nice color looking like... Red? Is that a thing? Can we have a red Kiwi train? Let's try this out. Buy one of those. Not sure it's going to become red or whatnot, but uh, then we also have new gondolas. I said I would add some extra gondolas, and so I did. This is some type of Russian one. It takes coal, iron, stone, grain, slag. But it's, it's red, it's pretty. We can make, make a blue one as well. We can have a green one. Let's use the red one and make one, two... Eight. Eight of those ones, and maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Crap, this is gonna be a long train. Eight plus six, that's 14. Okay, not sure if that's gonna fit or not, but uh, hopefully it will. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think the queue is gonna be repainted. Huh. Wish we could, but I don't think we can. Well, it still looks pretty awesome. I give you that. Like, we do have some red here. You know, that, that's, that's suiting. Those new gondolas, though. One thing I wish I always forget about is to check the speed. On the gondolas or the, the wagons, that's 120 max speed. And I think the Kiwi does 140, so they're not as fast. But then again... Holy crap, this is a long train. Do you get any construction measures? Yes, you have. How is... are you squeezing in here, by the way? <laughs> well, almost not. 
we were kind of making it, like slowly, 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 slowly. We are upgrading every single line we've got here. And this is making money, not much money, but it's making money. That is loading up some stone and I'm thinking, I think it's going to take all the stone at this station at least. And then carry on to this one here because, yep, we do have tons on that as well. Oh, I like trains. I like trains. Give it up for some trains. Now we have three trains on this line, just carrying stone and construction materials back, which means this should be emptying a little bit. I wish you could load construction materials on the gondolas as well, but you can't really, so... Well, it is what it is. Which vehicle is this? This is the green livestock thingy. Upper buildings already. Dude, we just kind of, kind, kind of bought you. But uh, I guess we need to replace them as well. Uh, set vehicles. And should we use some of the new ones or should we just use the old school ones? Because this is grain and livestock. This is just for livestock. This takes grain and livestock. So this takes both. Well, you can, well let's just do that. Then. There we go. I'm a little worried about the pool weights. But he's coping, the speeds are still going up. So let him be. I also did mention in the previous episode we should be fixing some of the boat and ship lines because uh, they're clearly not working out. Not even my cargo airports, like well, maybe one day, maybe one day, like, I mean, they're making money on some turns, but it's almost break even, like, that year we made money, like, on at least on that, and then we broke even here, and now we're losing money this year, it's really hard, I did just tweak the airports, I haven't really been playing with the, with the big airports, but that should eliminate the problem from them, like, just spinning around, because it took me eight minutes from that place to this place, one way because of the smaller aer uh, airports let me see can i grab you 23 fuel some machines are stacking up here eight tracks are still incoming so well time will tell but i mean i'm a sucker for details and this looks i mean what a game 1.82 million. And we have like six big aircrafts on this on this line as well. And they do cost a lot of upkeep. But this is so convenient because one is using the runway for takeoffs, one is using the runway for landing. So I mean, yep, having two runways is definitely the way to go. By the way, what did you load up? Eight fuel. Okay, you take the fuel and go back then, I guess. Yeah, time will tell, time will tell. But yeah, back to the ships. And I've been thinking about this, like, this, we've been having this since, like, episode one. No, but episode two or three or four or something. And we haven't even connected this this port, this port, this port to the city. Like, there's no connection besides just those houses here. So no wonder we've just been losing money on it, because it's not really being connected. So I guess first is first, we need to upgrade some roads inside of this, uh, of Nashville. And then get some... Uh, some public transportation in as well. Large country roads. No, 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 Medium streets. We want to upgrade as many streets as possible to medium streets, and then upgrade to the big streets without demolishing any buildings. And this is the tricky part. Totally is. It's so far so good. It's so random, like sometimes they delete buildings like that. Sometimes it just works without even deleting any buildings. And I'm like, what is going on here? See? Why does you, is that like, hmm. Like, I mean, the medium streets would work, I guess, but, but if this gets, if this gets like crowded. See, this is so, this is so strange. Why does it work here? Hmm, yeah, 
Well, at least it works. So let's take it all the way here. There's a big street incoming already, right? No, that's a small one. The big street is here. So we should take it out like a little loop around the place. Future expansion, just in case this Nashville... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, let's just leave... <laughs> deal with that, I guess. <laughs> but it looks awful. So we do have this main station just outside the port. And then... I guess the more the merrier. Or the more the... Yeah, the merrier, I guess, right? Let's just poop it out. And those here is gonna they're gonna be super unnecessary, but this is for future expansion. Just in case this expands that direction, we already have them. Take it all the way here into that Mirburn. Look, is there a thing? We can have one here. We can't have them here. Doesn't matter. Let's just add one here. And one on the way back. And then it should loop around, go in here, drop off passengers, and go out again. I, that is the plan, at least. And also, should we upgrade that straight away to bus routes? I think we will, even though we don't see the line. We pretty much know where this is going. It's going in here, through there, up here. I think. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, it does. Right, yeah. And this is going to be crucial for us, because we don't want those tra buses to get stuck in traffic. And that is the, that is the downside of, of uh, road vehicles. They get stuck in traffic. And then you don't make any money of them. There we go. So that is that is a maze boss and the closest little depot we got going. Where is that? Did we have any depots around here? Well, we got this outside the, the thing. There we go. So what do we do? We could use trams, but no, 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 no. Let's use some buses, and we do have a few new bus options here. Those are pretty old school, 1955, but they do have a little... Okay, I'm not, I'm not a German-speaking person, but it's a bus with a, with a bus with a little trailer. Bus, bus, trailer. Those harmonica buses, which I'm going to call them. I love them. I love them. I think that's such a cool little thing. Those are more like coaches, like cross-city coaches. Croatia bus. Uh, I think we're gonna go try them out. At least, like, uh, let me see here. Upkeep cost 162. What's the difference between them? A1 and A2. Single color livery, two color livery. But can I change both? I don't think I can. Let's just go with the single colors. And this is Nashville, Tennessee. Which color is representing Nashville, Tennessee? Orange. No, maybe blue. I don't know. I have no idea. Perfect. So let's go and buy one, two, three, four, four of those harmonica buses. And we're gonna make a new line. So new line. Add station. Uh, pick that to like the light blue color. And we're gonna start on the here. Go here. Go here. There. And back. So nine stops. And how do you look? Okay, this looks really nice. Like watching that in the on the lot thumbnail type of thing in the in the thing, they look pretty horrible. But seeing them up close, the model is fantastic. Is this what is that Volvo? FPS in the turn there. It's beautiful. So now people can get by to about here. And those guys. Ooh. Ooh, the clipping there for the pillar. Uh, it was not me saying that. It was some lady on the pier, by the way. She moaned. And I don't know why she moaned, but she, she found it very exciting. So let's just see. This is Chesapeake, Nashville. This is actually making money. Problem is the distance. And this only takes 15 passengers. So what we could do here, Chesapeake, Nashville, right? First of all, what we could do, like about, that would look kind of cool having just here some bouts. Is that possible? Yes, it is. Okay. No. There we go. Poop it down. And I do have a new hydrofoil. Passengers. 
We do have this one here, the jet foil. Passenger carrying water jet propelled hydrofoil designed by Boeing. So it costs 1.87 million. Its upkeep cost is 300,000 per year, 50 years lifespan, speed is 82 kilometers, and it carries 60 passengers. Let's buy two of them and Nashville, Chesapeake. That looks, that looks so weird. I mean, that is actually, I guess that is how they, they look when they are like top speed in the, on the high seas, right? But does it, does it look like that when it's docking? Cause I thought they would, they would go down when they don't like super speed. So those should be doing their thing. They should be loading passengers from Nashville to Chesapeake and also buy two more and put them on the other line. I know I'm spending a lot of cash, but um, I'm gonna see. One and two. And put them on uh, set line to Riverside, Nashville. <laughs> oh, this looks insane. I love how they turn as well. That is pretty awesome. We're going to see if that boosts our economy. Because what I think it is. I don't, I don't think that... Let me see. Air, tram, road, water. There we go. Every single water line we got going is making money. This could be deleted because this is not in use anymore. So we're in the greens on every single water line. No, no. Like, I mean, they are pretty fast, so hopefully... It's got 18 passengers already. This got zero. How did you end up with 18 and this guy in front of you is zero? Is you stuck? Or are you moving? Nope, he's definitely moving. A little bit of wonkalicious here. 20 kilometers per hour only. Is that just because you have to like navigate through the bridge, bridges, or is that just something in the water which is not correctly set? And they pick up speed. Okay, that's perfect. There is something wonky around this area. It can't be the bridge because they were doing fantastic speed. It's just after the bridge they slow down. Might be the river canal here. By the way, since the terraform option changed, can I terraform in rivers? Mm, no. Nope. Still nope. I can't tweak the water. Which well, sucks a little bit. Because I would want to have like... The canals going? Nah. It's kind of like... Static canals on the map. So like wh how it's generated is generated. You can't I guess add water. Maybe you can. Brush strength. Maybe... Maybe high? Nope. Not possible. So I just spotted this guy, and this guy has reached the limit of his existence. And this is one of the crude oil trucks, or oil trucks and fuel trucks outside the Corpus Christi. So I guess like it's been working out with three trains on this on this line. It has. It's been making quite a bit of money each year as well. This train itself. So what we could do is maybe go into this and replace it, like with the kiwis, because that is what we got uh, currently. Like we have two kiwis. So one third one here, and that's gonna be wagons, freight, and just having. Did I grab any other ones? Tank cars? No, I did not. We could have used those old school ones, but no, 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 no. So. Didn't really find a difference here. Oh yeah, the, the running cost, and that's 15 only, but hey, it is what it is. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 17, 18. That's gonna be a long train, but do I would replace that? So that should be fixed. As soon as it docks, not docks, but goes back to depot, it's gonna become the Kiwi. Kiwi is gonna be the new, new disc freight train. I just got a feeling, because we are replacing a lot of Kiwi trays, but it, look, I can mean, how can I neglect it? 
Oh 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 well you know hmm. yeah that's bad like I know it doesn't do anything it just clips through the mountain but for my own inner feelings I just got a feeling that we need to terraform that down a little bit just to make it less less dangerous here <laughs> Oh my, oh my. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that was close. Um, It's like the airport in Nepal. When you come in for the landing. Well, not really. It just drops off a cliff, I guess, right? But it's pretty dangerous. That is not even an com accurate comparison, by the way. But I just saw a program about that airport and uh, hold crap, that was scary. You can be a pretty good pilot to land in the Nepalese airport up in the mountain, just on the foot of Mount Everest. Okay, that should do it. I think that is going to solve our issues. Perfect. We fixed it, everybody. It looks a little bit wonky, but uh, now the airplanes won't glide. Yeah, we're talking about the Kiwis. How can we neglect the Kiwis? They look incredible, they're making tons of cash. And I'm just looking at the list, so we do have tons of stuff to replace. Like, the, the road because is not an issue, because it's fairly easy to replace. The ships, though, they are pretty easy as well. Let's just see it here. We have vehicles on this. This is the uh, steel ships, I believe, right? Ship 15. Ship 15 is coming to age. Don't we have auto replacement on this? Yes, we have. At 125, let's do 100. And this line overall, this is the steel line. Is it making any money for us? It's making tons of cash. What has happened? How am I making so much man money? How am... What is going on? Oh, baby. Look at this. Is this old again? 38 years old. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, like something, something is... Something is strange. Like, I'm making money on stuff which I haven't been making that much money on. I, I don't I don't complain. One and two. I don't complain whatsoever, but... Uh, but it's a little bit wonky. Okay, so that's, that's added. We have more ships on that. That's, that ship is going to be replaced at 100%. Just going, going back to the dock and that's going to be replaced. This aircraft... This airline has never made any money. Not made any profit. But I guess you lose on some, you earn on some finances. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's really bad on this. Escondido sightings. It looks super, super, super shabby. Line 17, we have two vehicles at this current stage. We have uh, aircraft 7, as we see here, and we have a small Boeing as well. So I guess we could replace them at 100%, set vehicles to Boeings maybe. What is this even? Ooh. It's a Russian. Yak-40. It only carries 10 passengers, but this might be enough. This is a lot of small private jets. Guys, we need to check this out. Okay, so Escondido sightings. Which line is this? This goes from... Uh, From here, from Lakewood. There's definitely passengers waiting for at least line 25. But yeah, look at this. Okay, okay, go, be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone. Buy aircrafts. Those small jets, let's buy three of them. It only carries 10 people on them. But uh, if we can make them work. Yeah, it looks a little bit meh. I guess. This might be our solution to all our problems. Replacements. Set vehicles. Let's let's do them. 
Let's do... Let's try it out. Let's try those small ones. Why you didn't pick up any passengers? 2 out of 10. Flaps going down. Huh. Age, what else? This is going to be a replacement episode, by the way. Ship, has sent this come in already? Where are you about? Okay, you're fairly close, so you're going to be replaced. The aircrafts are going to be replaced. I'm not worried about that. Then we have train. Train number seven. This is the train green Escondido. And how much cars does it have? Pause for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight only. But the platforms are fairly small there, so that makes maybe sense, I guess. So you get seven gondolas and two box carts. And how is the finances on this guy? It's making money. It is making money, ladies and gentlemen. Losing some years, but mostly it's making money. So where would we... Yeah, this is the green train. This is the green train. And since this is powered rails, we can maybe use a different one? So where's the closest depot it's going to be running on? It should be this one here, right? Okay. So buy vehicles. Let's hide that, and we can do an electric one, for the fancies of it. Italian. The Russian ones. I, I wish I, I knew if they were for meant for freight or not. Deutsche Reichsbahn. I guess that is not... A, that does look like a freight train. I do like this one. The Catalore. Locomotive. Upgraded. To try it out, why not? This is this is the, the, the moment of possibilities. And wagons. So we do have green gondolas. And we do have some box cars. Those box cars we use are currently those ones, but we could use not those though. That's steel steel. Why do I have so many steel box cars, by the way? Don't did I grab any box card which is not for steel? Maybe we can search on Steam Workshop later on for some box cars for livestock, because um that's gonna make sense, I guess. But what goes for gondolas? The train is red and white as, as a default one. This takes grain and food. It's the Schweizer Zucker. Zwei. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two box cars or three box cars. I wish this took. I wish this took, took livestock. But then again, we don't need a livestock on this line. We could just be happy with using... Uh, yeah, look at that. I think the trucks we get going can take the livestock and we're just going to take the grain. So add two more of those. Set line. This is the yellow one line here, like this. You go on this line. That's going to be perfect. Resume the gameplay. And you, buddy... You go unload, and then after you unload, we're going to be replacing you. Dude, can you stop for a moment? There's no stop signs. That looks nice. Might be a little overkill. And just a titty titty bit. We also need to replace the passenger train station uh, trains today. Our replacement episode is inbound. Yeah, so this is gonna be waiting for this guy now, and he's got zero food, but this is the grain train. So he's actually delivering grain. This is not a shabby looking train, but we might have a Mexican standoff here. Well, he's cuisine. This is a long train. Oh yeah, he get, he gets past. This moves. It is beautiful. Sure, there's a lot of food here. Waiting to pick be picked up. K 
Okay, you unload, earn the money. Not that we need the money. And then you go back to depot. Go to depot. There we go. So we're going to sell this guy. This is going to be replaced as well. But at least we have a beauty. Where are you? Where are you, beauty? Here it is. Yeah, it doesn't really squeeze in the platform. But I think it's still going to load up. Yeah, the maximum amount, 200 grain, has just been picked up by this new beautiful train. Also, in the previous episode, it came up off camera that this train here, the Dayton Express train, needs to be replaced because it's coming to age. And I just checked this guy. And I mean, he's just 46 years old. He's not that old. I, I know he looks shabby and all, but uh, it is not super old. Damn, this looks so, so cool. And the skyscraper is here as well in the city of Hayward. Not skyscrapers, just high-rise buildings. But uh, if I just check the list, one train which really needs to be replaced is... Uh, okay, this one over here. I guess we can... Oh, no, 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 nope. Uh, can I just sell it? Sell... Okay, that is sold now. That's the grain train, the old grain train. And 59, this though, train number 10. This is a boxcar train, and this is taking foods and goods. Foods and goods. In those boxcars. I guess we could replace this one to begin with. How many wagons? One, two, three, four. It's really hard to see when you're in there. Didn't we have two of those Food Express trains, by the way? Okay, let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. I think on this line we have two trains exactly the same with 9 wagons. Yes, we do, sir. E. And how is the finances on this line? Yeah, this, this is the one which we been stuck in traffic as well. But they've been making money. They have been making money. There's 120 from 92, 96... 2006. This is a brand new one. Let's add this one. Might be the total wrong train for this for this mission and objective because it's fairly speed uh, fairly speedy. So I guess this might be a train which is meant for uh, carrying uh, passengers. But I don't care. Set vehicle. Okay, so we got that. Freight two, three, four of those. And I guess we could squeeze in some of them. Okay, this is kind of the theme as well. So let's go one, two, three, and four of them. And just to be the cool kids on the block, we could add one of those as well. Nah. Okay, pause the game in the lag paradise. How much goods did those carry? 25. 18 on the old one. Remove, remove. Add two more of those. Okay, that should do it, everybody. Will this guy be replaced here? Nope. This one, this one isn't. Is this one the old one? 59, yeah. So this guy should, I guess, be replaced. Ba-bam! There we go. So now he's replaced. And how is that even looking? So we have one, two, three, four big box cards here. We have... Four for the grain and food and two more at the end and it just squeezes nicely into the platform but holy crap this train is beautiful waiting for free path you just wait for free path so both of those trains are going to be replaced on this line it's a little clean but it's brand new, so I take it. I do love those box cars, the DB Cargo box cars. Not too shabby. So those are replaced. Don't have to worry about that. We got the trams, which is up next. We also got a train 36, which is on line 36. That's the Corpus Christi line. Oh, that's the oil, oil, oil train. Okay, I see. Well, that's going to be easy because there's going to be a queue. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I also wanted to squeeze in some extra passenger train stage, uh, trains today. 
But I think we're gonna wait until the next episode because this has been far too long already, I think. I have not cut the video yet, but I've been recording for quite a bit of time. Fixing and adjusting. 45 fuel out of 55. That's gonna be a money maker. Are we making any money on this? <laughs> no. It's getting better, it's getting worse, it's getting up and down, up and down. But I'm gonna keep the line because this is, this is my little project, I guess. Not sure what we could do to boost the economy. Maybe fuel is not the way to go. Maybe what we should do is actually get some goods and uh, and stuff like that instead. Even food maybe would work. But I want to see how much does does forty five fuel do for us? <laughs> so many airplanes all over the place. I love it. Three point forty two million. If the upkeep was a little bit lower on those, we, sh we would have uh, fixed it. But, um, yeah, we can't. Like this like this specific aircraft, like one year it made four and a half million, then it dropped, then it made money again. So it's, it goes up and down, I guess. But overall, that is really, really bad. But I do love, like, having a new trains actually blows new life into the game. Free fuel. Well, there's definitely fuel waiting for the line. Let's just end on this nice shot with the skyscrapers in the background. This new, brand new, brand new cargo train, which is maybe not the, the most suiting one, but it looks beautiful. So, next episode is gonna be passenger trains. We're gonna get into some new ones and just have a blast with them. And also, maybe make a new connection somewhere about. I just love how the map is transforming with the big cities all over the place. But hopefully you guys enjoy, smash the like button if you did. Have a very very nice day and I think this episode might be on Christmas Eve? Christmas Day even? So if you're watching this on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, have a very 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 nice Christmas. Merry Christmas, if you celebrate that is. And if you're not, just have a wonderful day. Here Alice over now. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.